What's up guys, in this video you're going to learn the only three things you need to work on to achieve any outcome you want in life. A big claim I know, but hopefully I can prove this to you over the course of this video. Now we live in a world of almost infinite complexity and it seems like we're just trying to make things more and more complicated. And for myself, I've realized I have way more success when I simplify things, do core fundamentals and work on the things that matter. Now when it comes to achieving success in life and any outcome you want, it comes down to just three things, all right? When I really started to learn these concepts, it changed every area of my life. It changed my financial life, my poker success, my health, my relationships, and recently by doubling down on this concept, I've changed my whole approach to coaching. And I've created a new program called the Poker Athletes Program, which doubles down on these concepts. And today I'm gonna share with you these three concepts and we'll go into detail how you can start working on them to achieve any outcome you want in life. All right, super exciting and super, super powerful. All right, so the first thing that dictates how much success you can have in life, how high you can climb the life ladder or the achievements you can achieve in each area comes down to your beliefs, the beliefs that you have, all right? Now, to look at your beliefs, it's basically the stories you tell yourself about what you can and what you can't do. Often our beliefs justify staying where we are and they tell us why we can't go to the next level, all right? And your beliefs, literally, it's almost like getting off the start line, all right? If you have limited beliefs in an area, you cannot get going, all right? So if you believe you're somebody who can't make 10K a month, you have zero chance of making that happen, all right? On the flip side, if you believe you're gonna achieve financial freedom over the next 10 years, regardless of the avenue you choose, the beliefs open the door, all right? So we need to have the beliefs that we can do stuff, all right? So the first component, I'm gonna do this in terms of a, a pyramid going upwards, so three levels of the pyramid, but all of these interact with each other. And as I go through this, I'll explain how we can start to level up each of these components, all right? So let's draw a nice big triangle here, and the bottom layer, we do three levels. The bottom layer will be your beliefs, all right? Now, I'll put this at the bottom because, like I said, it is the starting point. The beliefs you have in an area will limit how far you can go. Now, the scary thing is, most of our beliefs come from our past experiences, our childhood, and all the things that we didn't control from the past. And as a result, we create a very narrow, limited version of what we think we can achieve in life. As a result, we can't get past it, all right? So imagine I have beliefs around my weight, and I think I can only, I'm a fat person, and I'm always gonna be overweight. Those beliefs will stop me getting in shape. Regardless of my diet, regardless of exercise, I believe I'm a certain type of person, and as a result, I won't take the steps needed to, to get there. If I believe I am someone who's bad with money or unlucky, I create a narrative around this, when I'm trying to make money, I'm always going to take one step forward, one step back, all right? So the first thing you need to upgrade if you want to have a success in the area, identify your current beliefs and create new beliefs in alignment with your goals, all right? We'll, we'll come up with a system as we go through this, but beliefs are the first one, all right? So that's the first area you need to work on. The second thing you need to work on, once you've got your beliefs in alignment with your visions and your goals, you need to work on your character traits, all right? Your character traits. So the way I look at it, where you're currently a version of yourself, playing a role in life and you're showing up in a certain way. Is that the only version of you that exists, all right? Let's say you wake up and you procrastinate and you're lazy and you waste a lot of time. Is that the only version of you who could have showed up that day? Or is there a more productive version? Is there a more high energy version? Is there a higher version of you that could show up? You obviously know that it says yes, right? Because there's different versions that show up on almost different days, all right? And the key thing is to develop character traits that allow you to show up your, as your best self more consistently and to develop the traits in alignment with your goals, all right? So for example, let's say uh, I'm a, an impatient person. I've got an impatient character trait. If I want to achieve long-term success and I want to, say, achieve financial freedom, which is a long-term goal of saving, investing, acquiring, I'm going to have to develop the character trait of patience. If I want to, uh, if I'm an undisciplined person for a character trait, because I've been conditioned that way, I can learn to be more disciplined. I can cultivate the character trait of discipline and the work ethic, all right? So in alignment with your beliefs, we want to create character traits in alignment, all right? So if you upgrade your belief systems, then the next thing you do is upgrade your character traits so they're in alignment with your new belief systems and your new goals. All right, so character traits. Now, both of these beliefs and your character traits come under the umbrella of your identity, 
all right? And your identity is the construct you create for yourself, all right? So when I'm working with poker players, I'm trying to get them to level up, or when I'm working with myself, the most powerful level of change is identity, all right? So we'll put these two as identity. Who I think I am, and also how I show up in the world, all right? And the good news is, all right, the good news is your identity is very fluid, all right? I shared a post with my poker athletes recently saying your identity is fluid and you need to be able to change your belief systems and character traits in order to grow into the next level, grow to the next level, next version of yourself. All right, we've got to continually realize beliefs, character traits, identity, fluid, malleable. We need to be progressing this. What most of us do is we create a construct for ourselves and we keep it fixed. If you keep it fixed, you can't grow. All right? If you want to con continue to grow, you've got to create a new identity, new character traits, new beliefs. The old version of you that's been shown up will not achieve the new outcomes. How do I know that? Because if they could have achieved them, they would have already. All right? You need to upgrade. So you need to upgrade your belief systems that are holding you back. You need to upgrade your character traits. All right? So once you've done that, you're in a you're great place. All right? You feel like, okay, you, you, you're almost guaranteed a set success if you can co cover one more variable. All right, so you've got your identity in the right place, you've got the beliefs in the right place, and you're developing the character traits in alignment with that, all right? This is a working process to develop the right traits. If you're doing that, you can have a lot of success. The final thing you need to get success is skills. All right, we need skills. Is the right pen. We need to develop the specific skills that are valuable in that area, right? The specific skills that will allow us to have success. Now skills is actually the easy part. Once you've got the right belief systems and the right character traits, learning skills is like learning knowledge and tools, toolkits in order to get better at something, all right? There's a framework for learning skills. Skills are not the hard part. A lot of people think they can't make it in life because they haven't got the skills. In reality, they've got the wrong beliefs and the wrong character traits and they haven't been able to learn the skills as a result of that, all right? So think about this. Any area you want to success, all right? Apply to your poker career, climbing the poker ladder, Gym financial freedom, all right? Imagine you were able to create the right beliefs that you 100% believe is possible and you can achieve that outcome, all right? So you've got a strong belief system that is possible. You've then started to build the character traits that match that belief system, all right? So let's say it's financial freedom. So for financial freedom, some of the, the um, character traits you will need, work ethic, discipline, high focus. You will need the ability to uh, uh, save money, be patient, and work, towards, work hard towards an outcome, all right? You can develop those character traits. So let's say you do that. You start developing all the character traits in alignment with your belief system. All right, you've now created an identity of somebody who is on their path to financial freedom. All right, you've got the beliefs, you've got the character traits. All right, then from there, all you need is the skills. The skills to be able to make money. In the poor context, the ability to beat your games at a good win rate, to beat the game above the good win rate. And that's skills that you can learn. All right, so you can level up that area. All right, let's apply it to uh, being in great shape. Imagine you believe you can have lots of muscle, six pack, and be in amazing shape. You've got the character traits of someone who's working hard, eating well, exercising, and looking after themselves. And you've developed the skills. You've learned how to train yourself in the gym with progressive overload. You've, you've got a trainer who's actually helping you level up your form and technique. You can develop the skills to improve. All right? So any area of your life, all you need to do is focus on these three things. And the more I've realized this myself, the more I've simplified my own life, and I've simplified my coaching experience for my clients. So right now, I coach the Poker Athlete Program, all right? And I focus, first of all, on cultivating an identity, a new identity. And that's identifying your old beliefs, creating new ones, creating the character traits of your old character, and creating a new character in line with your goals, and then level up skills. Level up skills, level up skills. All right, so the Poker Athlete Program, I focus on eight skills. Eight skills to work on over the course of eight weeks. And all you do is level up those skills in line with your new beliefs, your new character traits, and your new identity, and anything else, everything's possible, all right? And you will then go as far to, to the next level until you hit your new beliefs, your new character trait limits, and then you move on to the next one, all right? But life's this massive game of upgrade these three things. That's it, all right? In this ridiculously complex world where we're trying to do a thousand things and optimize a million different avenues, we're working, working on too many things, all you need to do is focus on these, all right? So from, from your life, take a step back and examine your beliefs. What beliefs do you have and how can you cultivate a stronger belief system? Your beliefs show up in the stories you tell yourself. I am this, I can do this, I'll do this later, right now is good enough. All the stories you tell yourself that stop you progressing to the next level, justify where you are or, or hold you back in terms of fear from moving forward. Your character traits are how you show up, all right? It's how you enforce your identity, all right? It's the version of yourself. 
good news is it's completely malleable. You can train any character trait. Almost every trait I have, I trained. I learned it. I developed it. I wasn't born with almost any of the traits I currently have, but I realized I could get better at them. I just had a call with Rene a few days ago, who's the wacko at Poker Ambition, and he was talking about basically how some players are set up for poker success based on their past experiences. Some are gamers, some have been from sports backgrounds, and they have skill sets that apply to poker. And he honestly said he didn't have any. He didn't have any skills, any skills that allowed him to play high stakes poker, but on the poker pursuit, he was able to develop them. He realized all I need to do on this journey was I've got a really clear outcome. He had a strong belief system and he started to build some good character traits. He realized I can develop these skills and the poker journey became his pursuit to level up his skills. And once he realized that and started to work on getting past his belief systems and mental blocks, it became a game of development skills. And that's what's amazing about life. We can always win these games. All right, if you take control of these three variables, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you moving forward, all right? So uh, have a think about yourself. Let me know in the comments below which of these three do you think holds you back the most. All right, these are a cocktail. I've done them as a pyramid, but they interact with each other on all levels. If any of these are missing, you're blocked. All right, if you haven't got the skills, but you've got the good belief systems and good character traits, you ain't going anywhere because your skills can't be cashed in. If you've got good skills but you've got and good beliefs, but you've got no character traits, you're not going to show up in the right way. If you've got bad beliefs, but you've got good character traits and good skills, you're going to block yourself. You won't allow yourself to keep moving forward. All right, so all three of these consistently needs to be in alignment. And I've realized for myself, if I stop my life, anytime I'm feeling stuck and examine these, one of them's missing, all right? The first one of it, for most people to work on is beliefs, right? Because it's like a subconscious program that we tell ourselves the stories. We need to upgrade our belief systems. Some of you guys will have really good belief. You'll have really high confidence in yourself. Like, yes, I can achieve anything I set my mind to. For you, you need to work on following that up with character traits that we show up every day and develop the skills as well, all right? Develop the skills and alignment with those character traits. If you can do that, anything becomes possible. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do smash that thumbs up button. And if you want to learn more about how to train your skills in alignment with your poker outcomes, and how to level up your mind and body by training skills to become an elite poker performer, then you might be interested in clicking on the link below to find out more about the Poker Athlete Program, which I take a limited amount of people through an eight-week program in order to become the best poker player they can be by training specific skills. So that applies to you. Click on the link below to find out more details on that. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.